Yeah, a white fluke. Hey everybody, today I'm going to give you guys my top 5 strapper lures that I've used this year for 2019 and I'll tell you why they work. So here we go. Hey guys, so... I've been shark fishing for ever since I could kind of remember. Now, when I was a little kid, we used to fish up north, northeast New England area. Uh, so I've been around stripers for a really, really long time, and over the years, I've gotten better at fishing for them. And then now that I've moved down to Oklahoma, we have stripers down here. The striper fishing is a little bit different, so these lures will work for the northeastern New England area. But uh, I primarily use these down here in Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Texas area. Um, our freshwater stripers or landlocked stripers, these work really well for them. These lures um, do not cancel out the lures that I used last year. These are just lures that I've integrated into my system. And uh, like I said, I've striper fished for years. And every year my my system from line choice to lures to reels they all kind of change um these are the ones that i've basically incorporated into my system and says and say like yeah these are like my confidence bait and my go-to's so without further ado number one so my number one uh lure this year that produced fish for me uh was this guy not just this is a i'm a little stick but not just the i'm a little stick but these are here so this is like my these are like my top water go-to's this is a i'm a little stick this is a yuzuri hydro pencil and there's, this is a uh, Tsunami Talking Popper. And uh, as you guys can see, they're all loaded. Loaded as in uh, we put weights in these to make them heavier. Um, the reason why I like these three is they all three of them cast really well loaded. The main difference on these are the heads. So all these heads are different. This one, I like this one because when you cast it out, it casts really well. And then when you bring it across, it's it's spitting water. So it's spitting water while you're it's doing walk the dog. So it's basically just slashing the top of the water. And it uh, gives it really good action. And it gives it a little bit of spit side to side every time. Um, the this, this spitting of the water is not too much. But sometimes that's enough to help trigger the fish to bite. Uh, and that's also the reason why I like the Tsunami Talking Popper. This guy actually has a popping mouth. So when you're like pulling it through, it creates a bubble and it also spits a lot of water. And it spits a lot of water as it's walking the dog. So if you guys can just imagine, this guy when, when it's popping this way, it's spitting water and then it's also creating a bubble like a almost like a pop noise so it's so that kind of like why it's called a talking pop so it's like popping 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 and really good again both these cats really far and then i really like just a spook style or this the yozuri hydro pencil and this guy just walks you know across the water doing its walk the dog thing back really well and uh sometimes fish could be these strawberries can be finicky and they don't want any splash. I'll throw this guy. So, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, most of the time when I'm out there, I'm throwing this guy. Ray, bro. That's what we want to. So, these are my number ones loaded pencil or spook style top water lures. Uh, obviously, they don't, they're top water lures, but they sink now because they're heavy. So, number. 
So have you guys ever lost a, a big, big fish right at the shore and it broke your heart? Hit that subscribe button because I feel you on that one too. Hit that bell notification as well. All right, so number two, let's get on with this show. Number two is just divers. These are classic, classic lures that, style lures that always produce fish. Not just driver, but any other predator species. The reason why I really like these and I integrated these into my system and just like things that lures I always carry is these don't really snag too much. If you're, they're always on, on like the upper water column right underneath the surface. And a lot of times, especially like if they're busting on top water or the fish are just feeding right underneath the water and they're not actually blitzing and boiling, these guys would draw fish up and you get bit real good. This is a Yazuri Hydro, Hydro Minnow. Yeah, this is a Yazuri Hydro Minnow. And this is the Daiwa SP Minnow. Uh, obviously very similar design. They both work. Um, this one's a little bit newer, but again, they both work really well. Uh, I do fish those quite a bit, and they work really well. Alright guys, number three. So, before I get to number three, let me talk to you why I don't use bugtails down here. Uh, I know everybody... Everybody lives by the bugtail. I mean, they flat out work, and I know that. Um, I used to use bugtail all the time, but it just comes to a point where a lot of fishing that I do is actually in the tailwaters at the dams, and there's just so much rock and line under there that it becomes it doesn't become cost effective anymore, and to me, if I'm spending too much money just to try to catch fish, it's not that fun anymore. You, I mean, you're you're going broke. So um, down here, uh, and even up in the northeast, this right here is what I fish. And it's basically just a fluke with a jig head, any jig head that you want, as long as it's cost effective. Uh, I, these triangle fluke heads work pretty good down here. Uh, I get these for like what? two dollars for three or four or something like that uh flute these plastic uh flute bodies are like 10 for like three bucks that won't work so this is like my replacement for my bugtail because you know bugtails are pretty expensive what eight nine bucks for bugtail spro bugtails are pretty good and i used to like using those and they they're like what, four or five six bucks for one, this is like what like two dollars, and they work just as well. Oh, cast yeah. just as far. Um, I know bugtails. You can like tune them, put more feathers on. I mean fur on if you want them to slink so slower. You can basically do the same thing with this. Uh, to make this thing slink sink slower, I put either a bigger body or I put a paddle tail on and that paddle tail gives a drag and it slowly goes down, and it also gives it. A lot more action than just a bugtail so yeah think of it as like a bugtail with like a trailer so that works really well another thing I do uh, is I would throw it on an underspin and hope you guys can see that an underspin and uh, these underspins just again just a little bit of flash some vibration uh, Striper is down here really like, especially, I especially like throwing this guy because he's lighter. I like throwing this guy right into like uh, current, yeah, it's, like, right over some rocks. So you can run this guy right over rocks, and the extra flash straight up works. Works really, really good. So yeah, no bug tails because I fish flukes instead, flukes and jig heads. And I mean, obviously you could fish this these and at any of the water column depths right underneath the surface medium or right on the bottom so hey guys so transitioning to number four this is a lure that i didn't really want in my system 
until I really um, got used to it. And this is the lore that I really needed. And that is uh, just a little fly. Little bucktail on a hook. And so what locally what most of the guys do is they tie this on with on their leader and then you know with another leader going down they tie a sinker a casting sinker on the bottom and they'll cast it out at the dams and that, what that sinker usually do is they'll get hung up in the rocks or some line and now you have this you know fly just kind of in the water column waiting for the stripers to hit and while they work really well I never wanted to fish it because most of the time when you set the hook you'll break that sinker off so then you're just losing money um we get these flies from uh, one of the local tackle stores here so instead of tying a sinker to the bottom my buddy showed me these inline sinkers these are like trolling sinkers and uh instead of you know putting it on the bottom you put it in line with your fly so usually I have like a foot and a half or two foot leader behind the sinker and then obviously your main line goes here and so you're able to cast really far and because everything is so in line you're not snagging as much right so that is a really really pretty awesome setup for this year and I've there are days when nothing else is biting and this setup was just killing out there Okay. And then to kick it up a notch, right? You upgrade this little fly to a actual <clears throat> fly fishing fly. So again, same setup: inline sinker, leader to your fly. Um, and this was a really, 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 really deadly setup this year during the uh, during all the floods and had all the floodgates going this guy got got the lure light to the bottom oh, on gate miss, snagged miss. so you guys can just imagine Damn. if you had a line or a rock bam bounce off and this lure if you're always retrieving and slowly jigging this jig head just imagine well this lure basically never hits the bottom so sinker goes down follows it you pull the sinker back up and it goes back up so it's always staying like in the middle of the sinker wherever the sinker goes so let's say sinker hits a rock so and then you pull up and it misses it goes over the rock well your lure is not even down there to where it's going to hit and snag on the rock it's still coming down and then now it's already going back up so at least that's that's how i think that yeah you do snag it's not snag food oh, i have lost some flies but it Damn. has cut down Got him on the my, bag. What the heck? Uh, snagging uh, tremendously, like 70%, if I have to say. And again, you're casting a sinker, so you're casting really far with a light lure. Uh, the reason why I went to this uh, fly fishing um, <clears throat> fly fishing fly is because the profile is bigger. I mean, when our... When our shad spawn, I mean, to match the hatch, they're like this size. But if you, those stripers, if you give them a bigger bigger target, uh, they can see it from further away and they'll hit it way more often. So, yeah, this lure I got off a guy on eBay. I've linked him before, so uh, I'll put another, his link and stuff in the description. I have links to all this in the description if you guys are interested. Um, so yeah, that is like my number two like integration into my system and it It was basically the answer I've been I've been looking for instead of like throwing bucktails and fluke and always getting snagged That was like my go-to this year if I wanted to fish down at the bottom All right, so let's get to my number one and obviously it's no surprise um, it's gonna be the A rig. If you guys want um, a you know a lure that <clears throat> basically will produce fish year round, it's this guy. Even though uh, for striper fish down here, it's more this lure is way more productive in the colder months than it is in the summer months. Believe it or not, 
Uh, so like, I really like going and using this rig uh, I guess I'll end during this video here. Uh, let's see, Thanks late November everybody. into December, uh, January, February, sorry, and one. March. Um, and it, I mean, if you just want to catch straight up catch fish, that right there is my go-to. Uh, and yeah, it's been I've made a video on it earlier this year. I'll link that below as well. Um, fluke, uh, non powtail or powtail, depending on what you want. Uh, this bait you could fish, you know, on the top, middle water column, or the bottom. So, yeah, just gotta change out the middle jig head to whatever weight you want, and it'll, it'll do the job. So, yeah, that is uh, my five basically top producing sharper lures of 2019. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, happy holidays to everybody. And uh, you know, I just want to say uh, thank you guys. Um, this year we've grown so much as a channel, and we're always trying to improve. And we've gotten so much suggestions from you guys, and we truly appreciate that. Thank you to all that subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.